Diffusion filters have become an essential to many photographers and today I'm going to be testing out two of Tiffin's diffusion filters, the Glimmer Glass and the Black Pro Mist. What's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tats and I make photography lifestyle content here on YouTube. And today, like I said at the intro, we're going to be comparing two different types of diffusion filters by Tiffin. So just in case you don't know what a diffusion filter does, basically it takes in the harsh light, softens it, affecting the sharpness and contrast of your images. A lot of digital photographers use this to create a dreamy sort of blooming effect to their image. Personally, I own one diffusion filter by Tiffin and it's called the Glimmer Glass. I use this prior primarily? primarily for video footage and I'm using it right now with this camera. I don't know if you can tell, but it's sort of softening these highlights and creating a less contrasty image. And I really like how this affects my video. Recently though, I've been very intrigued by how other creators have been using the Black Pro Mist filter. So I bought it for myself here. So let's unbox it. Okay, so we have the one quarter strength Black Pro Mist filter here. I got mine on a 77 millimeter thread, so it fits my lens quite nicely. But um, yeah, I chose the one quarter strength just because I don't know, the stronger that it goes, it's very stylistic and I wanted a bit more of a versatile lens here. So I have the lens here, it looks quite nice. If I'm gonna compare it with the Glimmer Glass, I can initially see that it seems that there's a lot less particles in the glass itself. So like I mentioned, a lot of digital photographers use diffusion filters to take the edge off their clinically sharp, crispy, 40 megapixel photos, but I'm actually here to shoot and compare how the diffusion filters affect film images. I don't know if you could have peeped, but in the corner here, I have my Mamiya 645 1000S. Boom, so this is my medium format film camera and I'm gonna be using the two filters that I have to sort of test out the differences between what the images will turn out. I'm gonna go out, we're gonna shoot pictures without the filters and then I'm gonna shoot the same picture with each filter and then you know we'll be able to see what kind of effect this has on our images. So let's set up the film camera and head out for the shoot. See the clouds amongst the sun. See the day for everything it could be. Stop treading on that snooze button. Run. Open your eyes and see everything it was. And is and will be all at once. See the truth, don't hide from all this love. Bask inside that alarm clock bug. We metaphysical. I alone am ten people on the blunt. Wake up. It's a physical. You're always dying and your death has yet to come. Open your eyelids. Swear outside of this lucid dream will come a silence. So keep dreaming, babies, and stay woke. But keep scheming, babies. Oh shit, it's a tidal wave of iPads. And a hmm. So we're back at home now. It's been a couple of days since the shoot and yeah, I've got the images back. The shoot was pretty last minute, I'm not gonna lie. There was a storm coming in, it was about sunset time and I just went to a nearby area with this weird circular bridge. Well, fun fact, I think it costs like 40 or 50 million, million dollars to create. So, I don't know, there's some engineering feat going on there but that's where we shot the blue steel and all that stuff. I thought it'd look pretty cool as a backdrop for portraits. And yeah, I've got the images here. So I guess we should get into the comparisons. So to compare the filters, what I did was I shot the same portrait three times using firstly, no filter, secondly, with the glimmer glass filter, and then the third photo with the black promist. Also for anyone that is interested, I shot these images with my Mamiya 645, the 80 millimeter f2.8 lens, as well as Lomography color negative 800. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into the first set of images here. 
Now I can definitely tell the difference between the first photo with no filter in comparison to the second and third. Now obviously I knew there was going to be a difference between these because I've shot with these filters before. So I'm just going to compare the second and third image, which is probably what you're here for. So looking at these images here, I'm going to be honest, there's not too much of a difference. The Black Pro Mist Quarter Strength, it's one of the weaker options that you can get for the Pro Mist filters. And the Glimmer Glass 1 is also I think the weakest glimmer glass filter that you can get. It seems like the tones in the Promis filter are a lot, not a lot, just a little bit warmer and slightly more green. Now I'm not sure if that's because of the lab, but it does seem to be that way in these images here. So looking at how the shadows are affected by these two filters, it seems that it's quite similar in both cases here. The shadows are slightly lifted to give a little bit of a flatter feeling to the picture with less contrast. So now looking at the highlights, it does seem quite similar between the two images here. To be honest, I was expecting a little bit more of a difference between the two filters, but it seems to act quite similar. The highlights are slightly bloomed. It sort of creates a dreamy effect in both images here. Maybe this isn't the best example to compare the two. So why don't we head to the second set of images here. So now looking at the second set of portraits here, it's the same deal. So the first image is a lot more contrasty to the pictures shot with the filters and comparing the two filter photos, again, it's quite similar, but there are some slight differences like in the first set of images. So looking at the shadows in the photographs here, it does seem that the glimmer glass filter has retained a little bit more contrast by keeping those blacks a little bit darker in comparison to the third photo where the shadows seem a little bit more lifted. It's just slightly though, I'm not gonna lie. I thought, again, the differences would be a lot more clearer, but I guess when you're using the level one glimmer glass and the quarter strength uh, Promis filter, I guess the difference isn't that much because they're both relatively weak in comparison to their stronger brothers, you know? So now looking at the highlights in this set of images, it does seem a little bit more apparent in comparison to the first set of images we took, but I'm not gonna lie, it does seem quite similar in both filters here. Like I said, there are a lot more highlights that are blooming in this set of images here because I shot this backlit where the sun's coming from behind her body. And you can really tell with the edges of all the structure in the background, as well as on the edge of her hair and her arm, you can see that the highlights are a lot softer and the blooming effect here creates the magic. That's what it is. That's what these filters do. It creates a blooming, dreamy sort of effect, less contrasty and yeah, like they look pretty similar. <laughs> so like I mentioned at the start of the video, I've been shooting with the Glimmer Glass 1 filter for a few months now. And what I've noticed is that when I'm taking photos, I usually edit it so that I increase the shadows a little bit. So essentially what I'm doing here is mimicking what the Black Promis filter does. So I think if you're looking for that softer image, the reduced contrast, then maybe you should just get the Black Promis filter. But I do want to say that shooting with the Glimmer Glass at least gives you the option to retain the shadow detail. So I guess in the end, these two filters aren't too much different from each other, but I wanted to make this video just in case someone else out there was curious as I was as well. Yeah, I guess that's just all I have to say. If you enjoyed this video, found it a little bit informative, I'm glad I made it. Otherwise, sorry. Yeah, okay, bye.